God. I just saw myself in the monitor. Look at this. Oh, this is all getting wild. Ah, too much hair. I'll do something about that. Oh, yeah, that's better. And we got the bike cleaned up too. A little bit. All right, I don't know what's going on with this camera, but I just had to delete a bunch of stuff on a five hour, 256 gigabyte uh, memory card. Something's up, but whatever. So we're out here testing out the suspension. I had it rebuilt recently and revalved in the front and I had no idea what to expect. And on top of that, I'm not really sure what a suspension is supposed to feel like. <laughs> um, but so far it seems to be working pretty good. But there's other things going on with the bike, TPS, throttle position sensor, turned it up to 0.7. Uh, volts and it didn't like that the EFI light kept coming on so I went back down to 6.5 or 6.4 I'm not really happy with that that side of things right now. I got to figure that out. Uh, took it out yesterday and uh, Right underneath the sprocket. There is this huge pile of muck on the frame and the skid plate oil um, from the sprocket area counter shaft and it turns out because I'm an idiot I put the uh, sprocket on backwards um, so it wasn't putting any pressure on that seal to keep the oil in. A dummy, right? So operator error on my part. It's been pretty busy. I've got a ton of stuff going on, as you probably saw in the last video. I hate to keep sounding like I'm complaining, but there's just no time for anything. And when uh, you set some time aside to do something, you're doing it in such a hurry. You know, I've got to get things done in such a hurry, it's such a rush. It's easy to just miss little things or do stupid things like that. Hopefully things will slow down soon, but for now, I'm out here riding, and all of that is uh, somewhere else. stabilization on the GoPro because I really think as cool as it is sometimes and it's easy to watch without getting sick as much uh, it takes out it gives you guys kind of a false sense of what the trails are like you know it's all smooth and nice not a lot of bumps <laughs> it's not like that Pretty windy out here so I'm hoping this uh, comes out the audio works okay so I just finished uh, taking it out on some pretty tough stuff out here in Marana but we took it through the corners I took it through the whoops uh, I took it through the sand I I've ridden on just about every type of terrain they have available out here and uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to be feeling <laughs> I don't know if it's great I, I don't know if the suspensions really good I don't know these things because I don't know what it's supposed to feel like. Remember, my first bike was the Honda CRF 250L, which uh, has a pretend suspension. And then my second bike was this KTM 500 EXC. So that's really all of the uh, experience that I've had with how a suspension feels. And I don't know exactly what's supposed to feel right. I know what feels wrong, I think. So what I can tell you about uh, the suspension that uh, ZR1 rebuilt and, and, and helped me out with is that it feels better, okay? It, it feels better or the same. I don't know, that's not really a compliment, I'm sure, but what I'm trying to say is it feels good to ride it. I don't feel like I had to make this big change from my old suspension to the new suspension. It's a lot more comfortable. Uh, I hit some G outs pretty hard. I hit some whoops pretty hard. Never once did I bottom out and never once did it try to kick me off. You just adapt to it really quick. In fact, I, I'm having trouble remembering what it was like to ride on the suspension before it was like this. Uh, it was able to turn and corner pretty decently. Um, you know, considering who's sitting on it, you know, I'm not really that great at cornering yet. Getting a little bit better. And I really didn't mess with the settings at all. Uh, just put it on, made sure I set the sag. You know, we got the sag set up right. 
Uh, I've got it at about 107 millimeters. I'm, I'm really happy with it. You know, everybody always says, hey, if you, if you do your suspension, it's one of the best modifications you can do. It's one of the first things you should do to your bike. You're, it's like night and day difference. It's not like night and day difference. It's difference. It's significant difference actually, but I wouldn't say it's night and day. It's just better. I would highly recommend it, okay? Especially if you're, if you're riding around on a blown out rear shock, <laughs> you know, and that's what I was doing.